people are rising up in America, realizing who's really in control over there. Do they also accuse you of being well, a they're, conspiracy theorist? They're, they're coming around. At what age did you become uh, turned on to these narratives outside of the mainstream? It's when I arrived in Israel and I started reading the paper Haaretz, which I thought was a, a high, uh, a, a high level Highbrow. intellectual yeah. newspaper. And uh, I wasn't aware of what this newspaper was, this publication was really about. I thought it was edgy brain. I thought it would be edgy, brainy, revealing. I, I found out that this this is a fifth uh, a this is a, a guys chamishi. This is uh, the uh, what's the what's the expression from the fifth enemy column. within? Fifth column. A fifth column. This is the fifth column. The leftists in Israel are a fifth column. And, and once and I how started, old were you? how old were you then? What what year was that? Uh, well, I arrived in Israel in two thousand and five. That's a 14, 19 years ago. I guess I was 31. Okay. I was 31 years old. Okay. And uh, I had already uh, gotten really uh, withdrawn uh, with America. And uh, I was already beginning to question the reality of what was going on in America. And I began learning about the Israeli left. I'd always heard things. I'd always felt a certain kind of condescension from them, a certain kind of uh, sense of self-importance and a sense of uh, supremacy coming from them, like they're the elite, they're the ruling class. You felt that you'd withdrawn from America prior to moving to Israel. You similarly found yourself alienated from the government in Israel. So, so that yeah. must have been incredibly traumatic Alien. and isolating. Yeah, it, was. it was isolating. I felt alienated. I felt it was drawn and uh, I went on the attack. That's when I started listening to Alex Jones and Infowars. That's when I started searching out alternative media, alternative uh, forms of information, alternative explanations as to uh, of history, revisionism of history. That's when I ran into the uh, book uh, Caesar's Messiah uh, by Joseph Atwell. And so when you started uh, embracing the Alex Jones narratives and other dissident thinkers, how did the people close to you react? Uh, for the longest time, they thought I was a, a crazy, that I was paranoid, uh, that they didn't want to hear me talking about these things. But uh, when they began realizing that I'm associating it with end times messianic uh, prophecies that are uh, being fulfilled right now. And so lost you feel all redeemed. Yeah, I took a great part. I was a big contributor to Alex Jones on in his comment sections. I had a great influence on him. I also was uh, very strong into... Uh, helping uh, Trump uh, get elected the first time around. So and how did you have the time to do all this for Alex Jones and for Donald Trump? Like, what, what did I, you I, come I, out? I, was, I, was, I don't belong in Israeli society. I don't belong in American society. I'm kind of a misfit. I'm, in, uh, I'm an in-between. Uh, I, I could call myself like an internationalist type of person, a, a multi culty type of person. I, I did manage to eventually... Uh, you know, because I felt hurried, I felt rushed, and, I, it, and, you know, it's not that I lacked the ability. I forced myself uh, to bang a chick and actually get her pregnant and, and be a dad because I wanted to be a father. And I threw caution to the wind. And so if it, the marriage didn't work out, at least I'm a father. I'm, 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 I'm gratified with that. But I, 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 don't, I, don't, I didn't have many Israeli friends, very few. I made and friends online, Americans mostly, with the same mindset. I'm, I'm detached from Israeli yeah. society, and I'm also detached from American society. Yeah, so you, I had a lot of detached yeah, from a lot of different communities. So when when you say that you are a misfit, what did that mean? I know that I have to uh, be employed and, and uh, earn a salary to get get by and survive. But my uh, anticipation and my uh, ambition uh, is uh, to see this world turned up on its upside its head. How many people would you be able to walk up to in real life and they would be beam and be glad to see you? My family members, I, I'm, I'm a likable person, but the, they didn't like it when I, I, I used to go off on my uh, a conspiracy theory rants or uh, about Jesus being an invention of the Romans, even from back then. A, I'd say about uh, 20, 30 people. I had a close knit group of people that uh, you know were were my support uh, group, but they didn't appreciate the fact that even way back then I was talking about we're going into a period uh, prior to messianic revelation, and this is these are the end times, and uh, 
it, they didn't want to believe me. They thought I was crazy. It's they gave me, they gave me ugly looks. They gave me like, uh, they turned their, their uh, they gave like, they rolled their eyes sometimes. And, uh, sometimes they didn't want to even be around me, but I, I was a, a kind of, I, I had self-awareness. So I, I wasn't uh, constantly obsessing. I had self-control. And, and but did, did any got... of them just, uh, cut you out of their lives or you no, managed to avoid no. that? No, no, they didn't. Uh, but uh, it, friends at work, uh, once they realized what, what, what I believed and the positions I took, some of them uh, did gossip. I don't care anymore. I didn't care because I was, I have, I'm very uh, much committed to my beliefs. You were consigned to lower status. And right. so that drove you to seek an alternative a community where you could be high in status. And that was uh, online with uh, people uh, that uh, thought uh, the same way I did. And I was influencing them and they were influencing me. And were, were you able to find a synagogue that uh, shared your dissident perspectives? No, very primitive people in the, in, the, in the synagogues, both the Ashkenazi and the Sephardic and the Mizrahi. They needed to get beaten over the head with a lot of terrible events to be convinced that we are in uh, upon messianic revelation and end times. I was well ahead of my time. I On a typical day, how much time do you get to spend around people who love you as opposed to being online where there's a whole community of people who love you? No, I, I avoid people uh, as much as possible. I'm, I've become antisocial. I go out to restaurants. I go to the beach, but I don't go looking to be in the company of people for too long. So in, in your, your real life, you get, you get to spend very little time around people who love you as opposed to being online where there are dozens of people who love you. Sure. You've had an incredibly painful life, but the benefit of all the pain that you've been through is that you see through the bullshit that normal people don't see through. Is that fair? Right. Yes. Suffering builds character. And, and so even in your, your suffering and when people would tell you to shut up or they minimize their time with you, what gave you the strength to carry on was this realization that you, unlike them, you saw through the bullshit. Not only seeing through the bullshit, I was a, 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 a convinced. I had conviction. And my, and my conviction came not, not, not only through, uh, through me, from me, it came from God. They, People told me, stop talking about Mashiach. Stop talking about Messiah. Stop talking about end times. It's a, it's a distasteful. It puts us off. And then over the years, events took place. And this thing started rolling downhill. And then reality began hitting people in the face, the truth. And Would you like for your son to have the same sort of uh, pain, but realizations no. that, that you suffered? No. Or would you prefer for him to have a more conventionally connected and successful life? Obviously, uh, uh, the second. Uh, the, and now I'm, I'm not concerned about uh, him having to go through what I went through. Uh, absolutely, that's another part of my uh, belief system and my convictions. I'm very satisfied and very calmed and very um, tranquil. I'm very at peace with the fact that he will have a far easier, far better life and far less, uh, a, you know, torment than I did and because we are upon messianic revelation, you know, so my son will be spared having to go what I went through. And did mm -hmm. you see people socializing, uh, going to the, the beach together, going to dinner together? And do you feel any envy of them or do you feel sadness that they don't see through the bullshit? The second. I feel sad for them that they can't, they don't want to see, they can't see, and they can't challenge themselves and they're, they, they're a willfully ignorant.